Let's talk about that dog that prison guards track down the escaped prisoner with, the bloodhound. This has got to be the world's greatest scent detector. This dog can still smell the scent of someone who walked by 12 days earlier. Now think about that. That would be like someone walking by with perfume and 12 days later you could still smell that perfume. How does the bloodhound do this? Well, first of all, it has an olfactory center in its nose with 300 million scent detectors. The human nose only has 5 million. And then its brain, the area that receives all that information from all those, those scent nerves, it is 40% bigger than that area in the human brain. A bloodhound can literally see the smell, just the way that we can look with our eyes and see a scene. It has been known to follow a scent for 130 miles. It's, it has got to be the world's greatest scent detector. Now, how did all that come about? You see, if the dog developed all of these scent detectors, but its brain wasn't bigger in order to process it, they would be worthless. There'd be no reason for evolution to develop that. If its brain developed this huge capacity to interpret scent, but the scent cells hadn't developed, there'd be no reason for the brain. It would be wasted space. You see, they, they have to develop at the same time, but they're both controlled by information on the DNA. And mutations are nothing but random mistakes. Could random chance in time develop a machine which was capable of smelling and interpreting enormous amounts of scent? No way. No programming develops itself. And yet the dog has this programming. You see, the bloodhound is the world's greatest sniffer because the universe has a God capable of enormous design capabilities. And it gave the dog that ability in both its brain and its scent detection equipment so it would all work together.